Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This one is my predictions for the second week of the NFL. Let's get started. Okay, for the Thursday night game, I've got Buffalo beating the New York Jets. I know what you're all thinking. Why Buffalo? They didn't do well last week. They only got a touchdown. Look. Okay. They're playing at home. It's a Thursday night game. It's against a divisional opponent. That's why I'm thinking that. Moving on. Okay, got Carolina beating San Francisco. That's an easy one. You know, Carolina's playing at home. They lost. They lost a Thursday night game. I don't think they're going to make it two in a row. Okay, and I do have Baltimore beating Cleveland, but keep an eye on McCown, okay? He does well against the Ravens. Let's see if that trend continues. Just, I'm being cautious with this one. Okay, and I got Detroit beating Tennessee. Detroit's playing at home. Tennessee did not do particularly well last week, but I got Detroit beating them, okay? Uh, I actually have Houston beating KC. I know what you're thinking. Why would you have Houston beating KC? Well, here's the reason. One, they're playing at home. Two, the quarterback did pretty good. Three, they still have a great defense. And four, it looks like Will Fuller is the real deal. But really, it was pretty much a tie, and I always go with the home opponent with a tie. And with KC, they, their quarterback is still good. You know, they they have some pretty good receivers. I mean, the defense is still pretty good. You know, KC still has a lot going for them this year. They're still a good team, okay? KC's still a good team. It's just, it was a tie. So, I just won with the home team. Okay, this one's pretty easy. New England at home against Miami. It's got to be New England. Come on. I mean, Miami did not do well last week. New England, they, I did not expect them to play that well. Okay, I thought they were going to do okay. I didn't think they were going to play that good against Arizona. So, of course, I'm going to go with New England. And this, I don't know if they're going to kill them, but I don't know how Miami can keep up with them. Okay, rematch of last year, New Orleans at the Giants. Last year was the Giants at New Orleans, and that was the highest scoring game of that year, of last year. And that was an amazing game to watch. I didn't see it, unfortunately, but... Amazing game. New Orleans beat them. This year, I think the Giants at home will return the favor and beat them. It's not going to be another high-scoring game like last year, but it will be a good game. Believe me. Okay, here's a shocker. I could have Cincinnati beating Pittsburgh. Now, look, I went back and forth on this one, back and forth on this one, and the reason I have Cincinnati is for two reasons. One, Pittsburgh is coming off a short week. You know, they played the Monday night game. And some teams struggle when they're coming off a Monday night game. Okay? So you got to trend with that. got to trend carefully with that one. And two, Cincinnati is going to want revenge after what happened last year. That's why I'm taking Cincinnati. But you can go with either one. Okay? But if you're a bad person, don't bet on this game. Because they're both just really good teams. And this is going to be a great divisional matchup. Okay, another one that's going to probably going to be a great divisional matchup. Dallas against Washington. Sorry, Dallas against Washington. I have Washington beaten Dallas, and here's why. You know, Dallas, Dak Prescott, he's still a rookie, okay? He's going to be on the road. Washington is coming off a loss against Pittsburgh when they had the lead to start off the game. For defending divisional champs, they're not going to lose two in a row, and their second loss is not going to be to a division opponent at home. Safe bet, go with Washington. Okay, Tampa Bay against Arizona. I'm going with Arizona. Arizona's playing at home. And after New England, look, I know you guys are going to blame the kicker, but that was a bad snap, too. That was a bad snap. And what happens with the bad snap is the holder has to get it down faster. And, and that messes up the kicker's timing. Okay, so you got to put some of the blame on that long snapper. Okay, Seattle against L.A., Seattle. That's it. Okay, I have Denver beating Indianapolis at home. Look. Look, Denver, say what you want about Trevor Simeon beating their, beating their quarterback, but Denver, they're still a great defense. They're a great defense. They have Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders. You know, they still have some solid running backs. I'm going with Denver because they're at home. 
And because Indianapolis does not have a very good defense, so it, it's going to make things easier for Simeon. That's about it. Okay. Uh, Atlanta against Oakland. I'm going with Oakland at home. You know, Oakland, it was a great comfort behind win against New Orleans. That was great. And I think they're going to continue with the momentum into next week. And I think they're going to beat Atlanta. Okay, I have Jacksonville beating Sandy. San Diego on the road. And Jacksonville, they kept up with Aaron with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers the whole game. They held Aaron Rodgers to under 200 yards passing. That was impressive. That was... That's impressive. You know, say what you want about Rodgers and the offense, but under 200 yards passing, that's pretty good against Aaron Rodgers. And by the way, what I mean by that is, I know they still scored some points, but still under 200 yards passing, that's pretty good. See what they can do against Phillip Rivers. Okay, Green Bay beat Minnesota in Minnesota. The reason is, is because it's that quarterback situation. Okay, they're going to have to rely on Adrian Peterson. And Peterson was not good in week one. I don't know what's going to happen in week two. Look, if Teddy Bridgewater was playing, I would pick Minnesota. But he's out for the year. And I just can't go with Sean Hill or Sam Bradford against the Packers. I can't do it. And finally, the Monday night game, this one's simple. Philadelphia beating Chicago. Look, Chicago, their defense, while it's not bad like Cleveland, it's still inconsistent defense. You know, it's still inconsistent. They have to prove themselves. And I just don't think that they can do much against Philadelphia's defense. I mean, their offense can't do much against Philadelphia's defense. And I just don't know about this defense. And, I mean, they are playing a rookie quarterback, Philadelphia is, but... I, I, I don't know. So that's why I'm taking Philadelphia because what they did to Cleveland last week, even though Cleveland is, like I said, is not a very good defense, but I got to take them. I just don't know about Chicago. Okay, those are my picks. And look, my next video. I'll have it done within two to three days. And I'm going to talk about some of the injuries that happened. I'll talk about RG3. And I'll talk about Keaton Allen and what that means to their teams. I'll try to figure... I'll get a few more. I mean, I'll figure out a few more to talk about. But that's what I'm doing next video. See you guys later.